Hi there, welcome to the Jersey post-match uh, show, myself and Eck, and we've got the gaffer doing our staff appraisal over there, Frankie. He won't come on the camera because he's a bit of a shame bag. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're here to talk about uh, the, 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 the win today against Dundee, 3-0, really comprehensive victory for the first minute to the 95th minute, or whatever you want to say, Rangers totally dominant. Uh, Eck, would you go with that, totally dominant performance? Totally dominant, and uh, I think just exactly what we're needing, just a heavy a wee Difficult trip to Leon, and we've got a game coming up at Tynecastle. We've got a fair bit of time on a Sunday, um, so we really needed that under the belt. And I think it also confirms that, that Geo has properly arrived. There's no new manager bounce anymore. That's four games in the bounce, but we've actually just we've won. We haven't conceded first, and today we really took it to that we kind of extra level where we're totally comfortable. And it's yeah. something I think we've been needing um, for, for quite a while now. A game at Ibrox where we've actually, I mean, that's the most comfortable we've won at yeah, Ibrox yeah, in the league since really July. Yeah. Really enjoyed it. And I thought um, it was a couple of outstanding performances, and that's, it, it means that if we go to Leon, um, we put the reserve team there, or you know their reserves beat our first team, whatever, it's not going to be seen as part of any kind of malaise or geo falling away. It's just going to be seen as an outlier, yeah. you know. And uh, I think with the schedule we've got coming up uh, this month, that's the first two games of December, both won, no goals conceded. It's looking really good. I think. That I mean, before the game when the team came out, I mean, the fact that Ryan Ken Frankie, you stopped that, we're quite a film here. <laughs> uh, the fact that Ryan Ken wasn't in the stand 11, not even in the squad, I think that gave you an indication that, you know, Gio's got his eye on the Hearts game. Because obviously, I mean, I think the Leon game, as you say, both teams will play sort of weakened teams. Uh, I don't think you'll see Kent in that game either. So it kind of falls into that thing you were saying the other night there about being able to rest players, you know, winning games, early doors, resting players and preparing for the next game. Aye, because it looks like, um, he's a, so far it looks like Gio's got his favourites. He knows who he wants to play. You know, there's got, I, mean, I think probably Alfred Morelos is the big one. A lot of yeah. people are wondering why Alfie keeps playing. Um, I think he's doing a lot more than people realise. Yeah. His goal today was just a magnificent stamping through a whole defence. Just getting it my way and then <laughs> slotting it beautifully at the bottom corner. It was, really, it was a kind of, it, it, it was a coup de grace that goal. It was absolutely lovely. It's the way we've been playing. All game was building towards just that wee moment of total demolition and total comfort. We just put a perfect seal on it. But we've got the, I, think, I think it's going to look in a 4 1 4 1 yeah. when it's games we're expected to win. You know, that's, that's kind of established now, and it basically comes like a, a 4 1 5, really. You know, yeah. the, the, the way we play it. Scotty Arfield's in really there. Really high up the day, really I, high up. Really high up. Yeah. And I thought the way we could, this beautiful kind of construction, uh, really intricate down the right hand side down the left hand side, it must draw everybody over, you've just got uh, Fashion Sakala doing, filling in for Ryan Kent this time, just piling forward relentlessly and yeah. uh, looking really good, electric, you know, yeah. and I think the, the whole performance today, just, I think it just kind of seals, Geo has arrived and uh, we've moved up a gear from the solid start that we had to the season, but it wasn't perfect, but it's starting to look really good. Yeah. The one thing I think we have to comment on is the, the nil. You yes, know, that's something again. that when we, we had the boy for Fire on, he was very strong about that, you know, the Fire Nord on, and he said, you know, Geo likes an L, and I, I would say so far it looks like that. It's four games, we've only conceded one goal, and Dundee never had a sniff today. I mean, I think Griffiths, which was beautiful, it was beautiful, we hit the post, and it hit off McGregor, I mean, why? It, just, it was just super, it just summed up how shit a day he had. Uh, but, I mean, apart from that, Dundee were never in it, so the nil that we really showed up at the back. I think it's. Uh, there's a, kind of a method, a, a really uh, methodical the way Gio approaches these games, yeah. and I think normally we would today like we miss a couple that kind of really uh, open headers, really kind of you know basically big up uh, corner post and should put the ball away. You know he's, yeah. he's probably a good save for the goalkeeper, just one for the cameras. Then shortly after that, Joe Arigo just completely misses it, uh, uh, an easy header, and it looks like oh it's kind of half an hour gone. We're not really getting there. Is this going to be one of these days? But under Gio, that's not happening. Like the Hibs game the other night, it wasn't going completely one way, but it just kept plugging and plugging, and it gets to the point where they get the goal. Um, it's the Joe will show for the first two goals. Yeah, you know, and um, we absolutely like fantastic game day, quite early one man of the match. But it's what then up in the ante as we're getting the lead, you know. And uh, I don't know if it was maybe the kind of I haven't checked into the you know the actual details of uh, opposition players' private lives. Maybe you know Lee Griffiths. It was the kind of the legal veracity or the claims that were made about him for the stands. I don't know anything about that. But <laughs> maybe it was a, maybe it was a one-man campaign against slander. But he definitely seemed to completely lose the plot when yeah. he came on just in time for us scoring again in the fifty-fifth <laughs> minute. You know. <laughs> It was brilliant. It was enjoyable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, that's the thing. 
you know, we, we get the goals you say in the first half, Joe Rebo, a wee deflection, but I don't think anyone could deny it. One thing I will say, I thought the Dundee keeper played really well today. Yes, I really, a few really, really good saves, uh, but we go one and up. They bring Griffiths on, as you say, obviously looking at the 1-0 to go for it, we get the second goal, that kills it. As you say, Alfie's third goal, then, it, then, then it's dead and buried. And then it, I felt it was about getting, you know, your Bakunas on, Ryan Jacks came back yeah. on. You know, yeah. really getting legs in minutes of some of the guys that haven't seen a lot of football this season. I mean, Scott Wright came on, I thought he was going to score there, the goal of the century. Yeah, uh, uh, he's just getting Fantastic going, first touch, <laughs> just, just piling right through there. Um, just going to overrun a, a tad. But as much as getting uh, the guys on, it was about getting uh, Glenn Kamara again, just everywhere. He's, he's the one-man midfield these days, one-man holding midfield, if you like. Getting him a bit of a rest. Um, you've got Adi Bo off early, and um, who else were we resting the day? We took somebody else off early. But uh, it was just to get these players a bit of a rest and get these other guys, the fringe players, who aren't really looking yet, as kind of Geo beds in yeah. his system, uh, getting them a bit of game time um, for what is a, a, big, a big kind of busy schedule. I mean, it's a vital game next week, Hearts away, Tyne Castle. I think that result against Prague now looks really important because ah, we've got the 2 0. Yeah, yeah. So the Leon game's a bit of a, you know, it's a bit of a, dead rubber, we don't really need to focus on that, we can rest some, some key players, so it's good that we're in that position now, we can rest some key players, and that's what it felt like, it felt like once the third goal went in, the focus totally shifted to Tyne Castle next week, right, let's change things and, and get new players on and, and look at, and it's good to be in that position, you know what I mean, because too, too often this season, we've been 1-0, 2-1, like in the last 10-15 minutes, hanging on, hanging on. And the other, the other thing we've done is we've got, we've got bigger away results in the league, and yeah. we've made it hard for ourselves at Ibrox, yeah. you know, we're dropping points in three different games at Ibrox. And I think when you're in this kind of schedule, it's psychological as much as anything else. Have a good, easy win under your belt. They fought hard for it today, yeah. um, but they made it happen. And it was you need to have that in your in your system. You're going to be we might have to grind it out at Tyne Castle, you know, we have to grind it out Wednesday night. You need games in there where the players just know I we dominated from start to finish. Yeah. They have that in the locker. Yeah. You know, it's it's like a mental stamina and I thought it would, this was, a, this was a really big result today. Yeah. And it should be pointed out that Dundee are, are lying third in the form table. They've been in good form. Right? So it's, it's a good result, yeah. a solid performance, you know, a, a real message. I should also, I think I should give Borna a wee nod as well. I thought that was his best performance. Done okay, so far, did, did well today. Yeah. So yeah. overall, a very positive day. So uh, the gaffers here, who's on the morning night? Is Exxon, Ross, and. On Sunday? Don't know. Doesn't okay. even care. Well, we don't know. That's, he's, that's he's, watching, <laughs> he's watching how we got on, but he doesn't even know who's on the show. This is how amateur we show. are. We don't even know who's on the show. <laughs> But there'll be a show tomorrow night at half nine. Uh, Ross is hosting X on it. Uh, Stuart, sure. Stuart Weir. Right. Is it Stuart Weir? Yeah. I think it's Stuart Weir that's on as well. So make sure you join in uh, live tomorrow night on the YouTube. It'll be available to download and stream on all the usual platforms on Monday. Uh, I've got the night off. Until then, bye for now.